Hey, how's it going guys and girls and welcome back to some more Pokemon Shuffle on the Nintendo 3DS. In case you guys don't know, this game is free on the Nintendo eShop, so be sure to download it now if you haven't done so already. So I guess we'll continue off from where we last left off and so far, I, I guess since episode 18, things have just been going so well for us. We've pretty much captured a majority of every Pokemon we've come across since episode 18 and we finally caught Mew for ourselves. It was a special moment and hopefully that luck or momentum will continue on in this episode. So before we do get started, obviously we're going to check in to uh, begin things. Now actually I haven't really done or tried to um, get any street passes done. Usually I try and do that because it actually does reward you with like extra hearts and stuff like that. Sometimes you may get lucky and get a jewel out of it. But yeah, I definitely recommend trying the street pass more often. Obviously this is like the, the 3DS I keep at home. So sometimes I, I forget to take it out with me. Usually taking my new 3DS out with me. But, but we'll see what the Pokemon of the day is anyway. Mew actually does run out, um, as you can see, on the 9th of March, or the 9th this month. So you better go and catch that now if you haven't done so. I actually caught it with like 5 days spare. So happy days for me. By the way, Rotom is Pokemon of the day as usual, and it's the grass version. Now we haven't, haven't, uh, ugh, we haven't actually caught this one for ourselves yet. Um, do I want to do it right now? I guess I don't really want to. It's probably something I can do my own time, because you guys have probably seen me fight the Rotoms already so I guess we just continue on with the main story and hopefully attempt an EX level at the very end so up next is an Espeon we just did Umbreon unfortunately we failed to capture it but hopefully we can capture this good buddy here Espeon. Espeon's always been one of my favorite from the Eevee family I mean I love pretty much every single Eevee evolution but it's just something about Espeon and Umbreon that I love so much the Dark type and the Psychic type they just look really really cool and they're probably two of my favourite ones from the Eevee family. But other than them, I probably have to go with Vaporeon. Such a cool Pokemon. Not really the strongest, but it does um, do well defensively. But anyway, let's see what we got here. Now, pretty much every Pokemon we've got in show is super effective against this Espeon. So I'm guessing we have like Bug types. So we've got Bug types, we have um, Dark types. Alright. This was the move I originally wanted to do, so we can finally get it in there now. Line of 5. Nice little combo, even with a line of 4 there. Beautiful stuff. Now this S1 does look pretty tough. We string together a few decent combos, but still not really much luck on taking its health down. So what shall we do here? Alright, we'll break this open. We may as well try and go Mega um, early on, because it's super effective against this, Umbre this uh, Umbreon. This, not Umbreon, this Espeon. But it's definitely going to reward us very nicely, as that combo just did there. We'll go line of five here. Okay, some really move, some really good moves opened up for us, but we're not really dealing too much damage. I'm not sure if it's us or it's, or it's this Espeon. It's a tough guy. It's a tough cookie to crack. Alright, um, let's see. Ah, oh god, there's not really much on, is there? I mean, there's always something on, but... The main thing I want to do is, is get rid of these damn blocks. These countdown things can be so annoying. Uh, let's see, I guess we'll take this one out also. Alright, we've got Mega. Seven moves remaining. Oh, my voice was breaking there. Alright, cool. So yeah, honestly, okay, that was a, that's a special move. That was pretty special. And that's what Mega that's what Go and Mega does for you. And this should we should be able to beat this in one more move. So I guess we'll go with. Hopefully this is gonna do it for us. We'll break the ice. Oh not quite, but this one should do it. And there we go. Victory is ours. Can we continue the momentum here by capturing this this Espeon? Now I'm not gonna be too confident about this because when we came across Umbreon, it was actually pretty tough to capture. We did we did we did okay with it. But the catch media percentage didn't really go up too high, as you may notice here, 33%. 33 Our locks eventually got to run out, it doesn't last forever. Can we catch this Espeon? Come on. Oh, so close. Alright, we can go with the Great Ball here. Do you know what guys, I love Espeon so much, I'm going to go with the Great Ball. Alright, doesn't mean we're going to catch it, but... If we were that close with a Pokeball, we should pretty much... Be successful with the Great Ball, and we were fantastic. All right, rank A, beautiful stuff. So I'm gonna quickly check out the stats and special ability 
I don't know, I just got a good feeling about this Espeon. Now we do have Mew as well, he's also a Psychic type. So that's that's a that's a pretty good team at the moment. Espeon, Mew, and we need one more Psychic in there just to make it the perfect three. Anyway, up next we do have the Grovile. So I believe this one actually evolves from Trico and it's got to be done in four moves. Now he is weak to fire, probably weak to flying type also. Megalopunny wants to come along with us. I guess we'll, t well, I guess we'll take it because we haven't really used it too much. But yeah, before we do get started, I'm going to quickly check out Espeon's stats. Now, where are you? Oh, there we go. Espeon, level 1, attack power, 50. Mega boost, fills the mega gauge of a Pokemon of the same type. Cool. Not bad, not too bad at all. And our Mew over here, I'm just curious to see what Mew is compared to it. Ah, oh, so they're both level 50. So maybe not the strongest overall. Actually, it's, it's fairly decent. It's probably a lot better than a lot of things we do have at the moment. But it'll be interesting to see what, what stuff like Absol, Charizard, the Zapdos and stuff like that will be like when we finally eventually do capture it. But I'm not really going to get my hopes up as of yet because we did actually attempt and one of the EX levels in the last episode and it just, it was, oh, it, went, it was so miserable. We were nowhere near capturing it. We know we're near defeating it, to be honest. So uh, I guess I'll just start with the Absol and then work my way onwards. Because at least Absol, we know we can defeat that. Just capturing it is, uh, is going to be a pain. But anyway, we want to try and use our Torchic here. Obviously, he's the fire type, so he's going to deal with the most damage here. And we got the Combuskin. Okay, I forgot about you. Okay, we'll take out all the, the countdown blocks, first of all. Right, you know what? We could actually fail this one. I'm not really too confident at the moment. Alright, decent combo. Ooh, next move should kill this off. Let's just be careful. We don't really want to waste this. Alright, do, uh, do your stuff, Toy Chick. Oh my god, we were so close. Ah, uh, these, these ones can be difficult. It really it, it does have you thinking you can't really waste your moves here. Every move counts. Pretty much the same with every um, level, but especially when there's like only little moves from the get-go, you really gotta be careful with what you do. So Combuskin, Toychik, Rotom, let's try this one more time. Good thing you don't really... Like you can start again, it doesn't really take long, doesn't use up too much time, so starting again isn't really a big issue. I guess we'll go Combuskin this time, he is the stronger of the two. Alright, not bad, decent start, decent start. We'll go line of four here, no hesitation. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, it wasn't the greatest move, to be honest. Torchic line of four. Beautiful stuff. Last remove, this should kill it off. Line of four, Torchic. Victory is ours, there we go. Now, I'm not really too confident about capturing this. I'm guessing the momentum is slowly slowing down here. Alright. 7%. 7%, that's all, that's all. Alright, don't get your hopes up, guys. These are the kind of Pokemon I'll probably go back into. I'll probably go back in my own time and try and catch these. We'll keep our Great Ball. No point wasting 2,500 coins. I'm probably. We'll probably have to do a lot better if we go through that again a couple of times. So I'll probably use that level to like do a bit of grinding, level up our Pokemon. And hopefully, eventually, we will capture that Pokemon. So up next, we do have the Swellow. Alright, so what's this weak to? He's a flying type, so he should be weak to some lightning type Pokemon. He's actually weak to this Rotom here, which could potentially be an ice type Pokemon. Anyway, we'll optimize and see what we have here. Flaffy, Pikachu. Uh, we'll go with Mega Slowbro also. And let's get this started. All right. Oh, and one thing I probably, I forgot to mention was for those of you who do play Pokemon Alpha Ruby, Alpha Sapphire and Amiga Ruby, then there is actually a mystery gift to be collected um, just be sure I'm, I can't remember exactly what it was but just go online and type in latest Pokemon mystery gift it will give you all the details there it gives you an, e an Eon ticket to um, it gives you the opportunity to capture Latias and Latios if you pronounce them that way they're the, the, they're the legendary twin birds and uh, the blue and white ones and the red and white one I don't really know too much about them, but they are available through the mystery gift. It gives you an Eon ticket where you can travel on a boat to this like mysterious island and then capture those two Pokemon. I'm not sure if you can capture both, 
If I had to guess, it's probably just one or the other. So yeah, be sure to do that if you haven't done so already. I tried doing it, obviously I'm not too far in the game, so it didn't allow me to. But I'm pretty sure you guys are quite far, so make sure you go and do that. Alright, 15 moves to do this, or maybe it was 16. Not really too much on, no, no real good combos to string around. So I guess we'll take our time about this. Decent move here. Alright, not bad, not bad. I'm not too bothered about going Mega here. Okay. Okay, maybe we will try and go Mega. Damn, what? Everything? Okay, this is going to be a decent move, I guess. It'll help us go Mega, but really, there's not really too many good moves on offer for us right now. I've got a bad feeling about this. Just when I was like high on confidence, it's slowly decreasing right now. Alright, line of four Pikachu. Alright, that's that's helping a little bit. Even this music, it's supposed to relax you, but it's just it's not helping at all. Okay, not too far to go now. We're over halfway, six moves remaining, we have used most of our moves. So this, this could be a make or break situation, they will go from the bottom, bring down the Rotoms. Oh god. Okay, if we bring the slow route down, it should also drop the Flappies, making a line of three. And then a line of four for Pikachu. Didn't intentionally plan that, but... It worked out for us, alright. Two moves remaining. Alright, slow bro, do your stuff, go mega for us. I'm relying on you here. Oh, wow! We should have done that sooner. Alright, Pikachu, finish this off. And there we go, victory is ours. We had to use every move possible, so I highly doubt we're going to capture this. We failed with uh, three of the Pokemon. This is our fourth one, I believe. Actually, maybe this is the third one. Probably another failure coming up, but at least we're progressing. Oh, wow. 70%. That, that was pretty lucky. Especially after using every move. Wait, can we get our first Pokemon of the episode? Yes, thank goodness. I'm not too thrilled about this capture, but still, they all count. Gotta catch them all, remember. Alright, cool. Wow, that's slow, bro. Wow. Yeah, it completely changed the game for us. Damn, we should have went Mega a lot sooner. Alright, up next, we do have some Generation 1 here. Cubone. Oh man, I used to love this guy. He just has the ultimate mask. I think he always wears this mask. I've never seen him take it off and I don't think he can take it off to be honest. But yes, he's a ground type. We'll go with water here. Not really sure what element this, this Rotom is, but we'll take it anyway. We'll keep, we'll stick with Slowbro. This will be the last level of the episode. Let's make it count. All right, we have 4,100 coins. I mean, we can use a Great Ball if we want to. I'm just trying to save my coins for, um, like EX levels. Probably we'll do an EX level in the next episode. For now, I just want to quickly progress through the main levels. Alright, so yeah, we'll try and go Mega early on. Alright. Alright, sweet move there. Mudkip and his good buddy teaming up together. I think it is the evolution of it. I don't really know how you pronounce it, like a Marsh Tomp or something like that. Well, yes, he's got a countdown. We better get rid of it. All right, we're doing not too bad so far. There's a lot of cool moves on offer, like the mud kit there, then the Rotom's here. It's working out very nicely for us, to be honest. We should, we should get the job done. We're over halfway. Slow row. We're gonna still stick with you. Try and go mega for us. You can be the difference maker. Then again, we don't really need to use him too much, I guess. When we've been using the water type Pokemon, it's been working a lot better for us. So we try and stick to that as much as possible. Okay, what's on? I guess we'll just go here. Break the countdown. Okay, we may we may actually need Slowbro now. Four moves remaining. Alright, go Slowbro. He's gone Mega. Yeah, we need the Slowbro. He just works wonders for us. 
Alright, a beautiful way to finish things off. Victory is ours. Two moves remaining. Cubone, please join our family. Wow, that's one that's one heck of a combo. 17. Do you know when we get these ultimate combos, they always just end at 17. We never get like 18, 19, or 20, it's always 17 for some reason. I've kind of noticed that in the last in the last few episodes. But anyway, can we catch this Pokemon? 15%, up to 27%, not the greatest catch really percentage, but still. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Oh god. Alright, we can go 54%, but you know what guys, I'm gonna hold on to my coins for now. I'll probably attempt these again in my own time while I'm grinding and stuff like that. But a rank B, a decent episode overall. We're just trying to we're just gonna try and speed our way through the rest of this like main story here. Next up will be a What is this thing? Oh, another mega Pokemon. He's a dragon type. He looks more like an ice type, if I had to be honest. But an an outer outeria? An alteria? Um <laughs> you guys probably know how it's pronounced. But yes, that was this is where we'll begin things in the next episode, and we'll probably will attempt some of these expert Pokemon. Now there's some really cool ones on offer. We've got Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, some really, really cool, really, really cool Pokemon. But we'll probably start with um, Absol here. We can be here, but capturing it is a different story. But we do have the Great Ball, so hopefully we can get lucky in the episode. So until then, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to give a thumbs up, it really does help, and I'll see you all next time. See ya!